covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Astronomers say they have all the data they need in the search for extraterrestrial life. Distributed computer network SETI at Home has ceased scouring radio telescope data for signs of extraterrestrials after 20 years. Much like Folding at Home, which is currently acting as the world's most powerful supercomputer in the fight against the new coronavirus, SETI at Home utilized a vast user-donated network of computers to analyze data, but is now heading into hibernation. SETI at Home has been in operation since 1999. During that time, it has processed heaps of radio telescope data collected from the deepest depths of space and listened into narrow band radio signals in order to track down anything out of the ordinary. To do so, it relied upon the contributions of computers from across the globe, graphics cards, and powerful CPUs in tow, all working together in order to learn of life beyond Earth. But don't you worry, it's not shutting down due to lack of interest. In fact, the researchers based out of USC Berkeley are inundated with the data. But with no need for further data, the team of astronomers will instead focus their efforts on back-end analysis for later publication in a scientific journal. The project's message boards will remain operational, but there's no longer any need to task your gaming rig with the search for extraterrestrials. SETI at home may one day return. Researchers are eyeing up, potentially, uh, eyeing up potential use cases and will distribute tasks in cosmology in Pulsar research, research sometime in the future. Nothing is set in stone, however, so it's better to put your gaming PC to good use researching elsewhere than leaving it idling. The SETI at Home team recommends lending your help to folding at home. It's a critical task of simulating the COVID-19 virus. That project is currently operating at 1.5 exaflops of computing power kindly donated from across the globe. That's a whole frontier supercomputer's worth for scale.